Hello and welcome to my rolling demo of a little program I've made, an SCP to SQL item converter. Um, basically converts uh, old SCP item code for WoW image servers uh, up to the SQL which is needed for the Entrix service. Um, basically here's my little web page, um, just a you know, quick little demo of that. Um, has a little preview page, all the info you'll need, so it's probably where you'll download it from. Um, Okay, now when you download the program for the first time, um, it'll come in a little RAW file. Uh, inside the RAW file, there'll be four files all up, uh, three DLLs and an EXE. Um, when you run the program, you just double-click the EXE. You can, yeah, when to actually extract it or install it, you just, you know, you unzip the RAW file in any folder. Okay, run the program, and it'll come up into a nifty little window. Looks like that. Um, very, very simple. There's uh, two little ways you can uh, input information into it, the SCP code. You can either copy and paste individual items itself, or you can actually use a little uh, radio box thing there and enter a file location and locate an SCP file itself. So, yeah, lots of different ways you can use this. Um, okay, well, we're just going to use a text entry thing for the time being. Um, okay, we have got the SCP info. This is just a uh, basic breakdown of the SCP code itself. Um, there's just an item code and just gives you a bit of an information on exactly everything that's what's in the uh, the SCP code in the first place. Um, okay, next part, SQL options. These are a little bit more complex. Um, okay, when you actually create your SCP codes or that's already been created from the old WoW image servers, because obviously people who are using this program will know what SCP code is, um, it'll come down and break down every single SCP code for the items um, and this will actually cross link to an X SQL export tag and that's one of the tags that are in that you know it converts over and that's what it'll be used for when it's dumped into the SQL format this table over here is your SQL format this is what will be uh, you know outputted by the SQL query um, so you can import it straight into your own uh, Entrix server each of these are very modifiable. Um, you know, you can go in there, text edit it, type your own things in if you want. Um, you can actually move them up and down using little buttons here. There's an up and down. So basically, you can modify the whole thing, add extra ones. You can even reset it back to default, which is probably preferable. Um, now, with the SQL, there is one extra field that's needed when you actually output them out. I'll put a plus in there. It should put an extra one at the bottom. Now we just type in UNK2, and that will allow us the uh, new formatting for outputting stuff out. Okay, we hit OK, and that will leave everything set up and ready. Now I've got a little uh, demo item that actually preloads up when you uh, start the program, and it's the one I'm going to use. Um, basically, you can see all the item code. There's the item number, the name of it, there's a little description that I have, um, different classes, subclasses. It's all pretty simple. You, know, you can make pretty, you know, pretty much head and tail of it just by looking at it straightforward. Okay, we can convert the SCP to SQL using the button up here. It's pretty prelimin uh, preliminary and straightforward. There's a preview button here. If you don't want a preview, you just want to save it straight away. You can use that one. Otherwise, when you hit that one, it'll go through and it'll actually show you. It's extracted the SCP field into the data uh, name. There you go, description, class. Then after from that, you can actually use the uh, SQL conversion preview. You can actually see that, okay, the name is, uh, the entry ID is going to be 40003. And you got the class, which is there, two, subclass, 10. And that's just to double check and make sure everything's converted over properly. If anything's wrong or you want to modify it, everything's editable once again. Just uh, ease of use is the aim of all my little programs here. And in this next little program here, um, it'll actually show you the actual SQL code. If you do modify anything up here, like the spell cooldown, like to one, it's not gonna instantly refresh it. There is a refresh SQL down here. So that'll basically fix all that kind of stuff up. Now, when you have got that SQL preview right there, you can pretty simply copy and paste it, which I'm gonna do now, copy. And you can paste that straight into uh, a query tab inside of uh, MySQL, which I'm going to use. I'm going to use SQL yield. Um, and there's the other thing you can save. You can save the thing to wherever you want as a simple SQL file. So you can do backups of everything if you want to, you know, do updates on your Antrix server and you want to save all the SQL code so you can add all your new items straight in. 
Um, okay, now over to SQL Yog. Uh, should be hiding here somewhere. Now, basically, go into here and find where your Entrix database is. Mine's called Entrix Natasoft 02. Then open that one up, go down, and find the items uh, table. It's right there. And it should reload it all up after you've hit the right click and go view data. It'll take a little bit to go through because this is one of the largest uh, tables in the whole of the database. Tick, tick. There we go. Uh, we've got show all. That's usually unchecked. You click that one if you want to show all the items in the database. That's why it took so long. Now we go right to the very bottom and we'll see that there are a few custom items that we've all made. Um, for, this is my um, custom, ser custom server for wowps.org. Now you can just check there's no uh, 40,000s, there's no um, anything like that in there right at the moment. So there's no item or anything in there. We paste the SQL, the import data, right there. Then you right click on there, SQL, execute query, execute all queries, bang, it should say one row affected, zero milliseconds taken. And then we go back to the table data, It'll take a little bit to reload, once again, really big database, so takes a little bit of time. Still going. There we go. Now if we scroll right down to the bottom now, there should be a new item called Staff of DJ Ravine. There we go, right there. And it's all been converted over from SCP code into SQL code and imported straight into the uh, brand new database, which is quite convenient because there's a lot of people out there that are used to be running the old WoW image servers and they've made a lot of custom items for it, like myself. I've made pretty, um, or me and my team probably made about six, seven hundred custom items for level 60 to level 250 when we we're running our WoW image servers about a year ago. Um, and yeah, it's a pain. You want to have all the stuff in there, but you just can't. So pretty much I created that program to help all of that kind of automation. But anyway, I'll leave you guys to it, and hopefully this has helped out quite a lot, and I'll leave you to it. Take care. See ya.